Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be starting in 2 Peter. Uh, we'll start in chapter 3. The day of the Lord will come. This is now the second letter I am writing you beloved and both of them I am stirring up you sincere mind by way of reminder that you should remember the predictions of the holy prophet and the commandments of the Lord and the Savior through your apostles knowing that first of all the scoffers will come into the last days with scoffing following their own sinful desires they will say where is the promise of his coming for ever since the father fell asleep all things are continuing they were from the beginning of creation. For they deliberately overlooked the fact that the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and through water by the word of God, and that by means of these the word world that then existed was deluged with water and perished. But the same word, the heavens and earth now exist, are stored up for fire being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any perish, but that all should reach repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Since all these things are thus to be dissolved, what sort of people ought you to be in the lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for the hastening to come of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set on fire and dissolved, and the heavenly bodies will melt as they burn? But according to his promise, we are waiting for new heavens and new earth in which righteousness dwells. So this segment in chapter 3 is talking about um, the events that we read in Revelations about the end of the earth. Um, so it's saying that the earth is destined to burn Um and it will be a, a disaster where there'll be a need for a new earth and new heavens because both will pass away. Um, and then it talks about how originally the earth was uh, destroyed with water. So it's going back to the Old Testament talking about how uh, Noah's Ark, that was a big destruction where everything uh, was destroyed and then renewed. Now, what it's also saying is there's going to be people that are saying, where's where's Jesus? Is he, he's supposed to come back. Where's he at? And God's timing is not ours. So we need to understand that there's a reason that we're still waiting now. And that reason is there's still someone on this earth or still a group of people that still need to come to repentance. So if God comes now and they haven't done so, that means that they won't have a chance so if there's a chance for one soul to be saved, then the day of the Lord will wait. His timing is not ours. He will come back one day, but we just have to be ready for when that happens. Final words. Therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these, be diligent to be found by him whose spot or blemish and at peace. And count the patience of our Lord as salvation. Just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to according to the wisdom given him, as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters, there are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. You, therefore, beloved, knowing this beforehand, take care that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people and lose your own stability but grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be the glory both now 
and the day of eternity. Amen. So this part of the, the chapter 3 is talking about being ready. So while we wait, we should grow in knowledge and strength in Jesus Christ. So use your time wisely on this earth and learn what you can while we wait for our promised Savior. Thank you for listening to this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings. We will see you again uh, tomorrow for another edition of Topics.